Yes, sir. You already know. It's your boy B Hayes. We back with another one, guys. Let's go and jump right into it. So AMC, we trading at about forty-four dollars and twelve cents, guys. AMC Theater sees new post-pandemic attendance record. AMC Theater said its AMC Theater broke its previous post-reopening weekend attendance record. The company said that the second time in the three weekends and the third time since Memorial Day weekend, its record is busiest weekend attendance numbers in the last 16 months, with 3.2 million people watch movies at its U.S. and international theater locations between Thursday and Sunday. AMC said the industry box office was led by Black Widow, which opened at to an estimate 80 million for its opening weekend in the U.S. and Canada. Eight of the top 10 busiest theaters in the U.S. across the whole movie theater industry were AMC's in the U.S. on Thursday through Sunday. AMC had more than 2.5 million guests, a new post-reopening record. Internationally, more than 650,000 people visited AMC theaters in Europe and the Middle East, also a post-reopening record. AMC shares were down 4% at $44.60 in early trade, guys. So even after this great news, they still want to pull the price back, guys. So even before, yes, they manipulating the stock, manipulation is involved. But guys, still, you got to be, you know, you know, use that trail lightly with that word, guys. Because we being, though, even before these meme stocks and all this good stuff, GameStop, AMC, even before all into that, the stock market being manipulated, being rigged. We know that. And even postponed before AMC and GME. If we were just regularly in the stock market on a regular, regular day and some good news came out behind the stock that we was looking at, that don't necessarily mean that stock is going to take off like a bat out of hell just because good news come out, guys. Usually, that will cause the stock to do the opposite. Because just think about it. Good news come out. If that's what make a stock move, everybody will be rich in the stock market. Hey, just sit around and wait for good news to come out on the company and then go all in on it. And it's going to go up because the news, the news got to make it go up if that's how you're thinking. That's not logical thinking in the stock market, guys. I'm always thinking like a, I'm always thinking like the other person. You get what I'm saying? I take the bad news and go, you know, I take bad news and run with it quicker than I will with the good news because it's kind of like reverse psychology, man. When I hear bad news, I'd be more intrigued on seeing that go up quicker than hearing good news and seeing that go up, which I'm not throwing salt on amc which i believe i most definitely believe this thing is just getting warmed up and ready to run but with that being said i'm just trying to you know ease y'all pain with oh man all this good news keep coming out and the stock still staying in the same place or it's going down i'm just letting you know if we was in the regular market this good news and any other stock we was looking at it still would be the same shit like good news don't necessarily mean the stock take off like a bed out of hill. Just chill. Pump your brakes. Be patient, guys. So let's go ahead and talk about it, though. So we trading at about $44.20, guys. We broke below that $45, $46 support level that we need to stay above. So we want to give back all those gains that we gave on, gained on Thursday, pulling back to $38 and running up to $10 plus, touching $49.79, almost hitting $50. We know we got that resistance right around $49.97, right at $50. We break above that, we'll put us right back in the mid-50 range and right in between the 60s right where we just left off guys before going to break above strong strong resistance at 64.97 65 bucks so before we get there though guys what are we going to expect is we going to see a pullback from here to 42 and retest 42 or is we going to shoot right back up from here guys so this thing is consolidating and holding firmly right around this 44 dollar range we hit that low of 43.43 so we could most definitely possibly see that retest of 42 guys say pull back to around 42 and hopefully we spring spring that shot retest right. of 42 guys say pull back to around 42 and hopefully we spring spring shot right off that 42 spring right back up so hopefully we don't even see 42 that would be even better but i feel you know that that uh support was broken at 45 46 we most definitely could go retest 42 before springing back up guys and you know we also hit 38 so in, anywhere between 38 and 42 this thing could send it right back up so just be on the lookout for that guys don't let it make you nervous don't let it shake you out your shares or trick you out your position that's all i got for you guys this video 
you already know it's your boy B Hayes. Don't forget to use the link in the description down below to get your free stocks on Webull and also add your boy on IG. I love y'all. We out and God bless you.